In the 1920s, we had a period of significant growth, uh, the Roaring Twenties, ragtime in the United States, which was based on creating a common currency, binding together very different economies through a common currency. This was a gold standard at the time, fixed exchange rates. The result was a massive flow of capital, of money, from the surplus countries to the deficit countries, which created a kind of semblance of growth. And uh, stock exchanges were going up, private money was being minted, and th there was this illusion of uh, a, a new paradigm. And this collapsed in 1929 with the Wall Street implosion. When we created the euro, it is as if we were copying the gold standard. It was exactly the same model. The failed model of the 20s was rep replicated in the heart of Europe. Very soon after that, there was a tsunami of capital coming into Spain, uh, pushing harsh prices up, giving us here in Spain, in Greece, in Portugal, in Ireland, a false and elusive sense of growth. Then Wall Street collapsed. Our generation's 1929 happened in 2008. And very soon after that, the common currency of our era, the euro started fragmenting, and the rest is history. And now Europe is fragmenting just like it was fragmenting in the 1930s. Just like in the 1930s, you have the rise of xenophobia, of racism, new walls, new divisions inside our minds, in our hearts, between our people, within our people. Either we stop this, in a way we fail to stop it in the 1930s, beginning here in Spain with the international brigades, Are we going to, either we're going to have international pan-European democratic brigades in Germany, in Finland, in Slovakia, in Greece, in Spain, or we're going to have to repeat history, not as a farce, unlike Marx said, but as a dystopia.